Okay, boys, here we go. Uh, now, I'm going to give you a SEALs perspective on this uh, coronavirus stuff, and more specifically, uh, people's reactions to it. Now, if you are scared and worried and need to be coddle coddled uh, and made to feel good in these trying times, you should just turn off the video right now because this is not going to be one of those videos. And I've seen enough of those to see that you can get your fill of that somewhere else. Uh, here you're going to get uh, my perspective on this and specifically my reactions to it. And I'm also going to give you some lessons around what you can do uh, both now that'll serve you now and into the future. So first off, I want to deal with uh, priorities because I just don't get it. Uh, this craziness around napkins, toilet paper, and paper towels. You got to be kidding me here, right? So the biggest concern that people have are napkins, toilet paper, and paper towels. For me, at least, right? Napkins, I got socks, right? Now, if you didn't know this trick, you're missing out, right? Socks are the perfect napkins because they're covered by your pants and so no one can see the stains and ultimately they smell bad anyway. So you're going to wash them every day. So if you run out of napkins, use your socks. Toilet paper, that's what a shower is for, right? We don't, if you run out of toilet paper, it's right next to the shower. The water works, take a shower. Paper towels, that's what dish towels are for, right? Why do we need paper towels? Take it, take your dish towel, wipe up the sink, wipe off the plates, clean up the crumbs, and then wash your towels. Like for me, when we heard that, you know, there's going to be some sort of issue here, I went out and to the store and bought two things and two things only. First, meat and second, ammunition. Because I figure with meat, I can survive, right? So we got a freezer full of meat, we're good, right? Ammunition, I can get anything else I need with that. Now, with that, yeah, it's a joke, but figure out the priorities, right? Having priorities of what's important, what's not. And just because someone else is buying all the paper towels, doesn't mean that you have to get worried and stock up on paper towels either. Think about the impact of the thing that you're buying. And ultimately I've learned that if most people are doing it, it's probably not gonna serve you well because normal and exceptional, they don't intersect. So whatever normal people are doing is probably gonna not lead to exceptional results. So we've dealt with toilet paper and paper towels. Now let's talk about fear. And this is an important concept. Fear is a perceived lack of control in every situation. So whenever you feel fear, we know that somewhere in your life, you have a perception that you don't control something. For me, what's interesting is I have felt no fear up to this point in this whole situation. The reason being is I've done work. Now, I don't swear often, but I'm swearing on purpose because this is really important, right? The reason that I don't feel fear is I've spent over half of my life learning how to plan, learning how to plan for contingencies and problems, learning how to defend myself and my family, learning how to take care of myself and my family, and most importantly, learning how to coordinate action with others. Right? I don't feel fear in this situation because I know that I've done my work. I've done my work to be able to be prepared in trying times. That leads us to the third point here. What should you be doing in these imposed isolations, being at home? You know, there, for me, there's one thing. Right? The reason that I don't have fear is that I have a perception that I can control my environment. What gave me that perception is my ability to influence my environment, to have power. My ability to have that power, that ability to influence my environment comes 100% directly from that which I've learned. As a human being, we're in a knowledge-based economy. The more we know, the bigger impact we can have around us. The more we know, the greater the perception of control that we have and the less fear that we have. Because I've spent time learning how to defend myself, learning how to provide for my family, learning how to coordinate action with others, I've got a perception that I can control my immediate environment enough to provide for the safety of myself and my family. So if you're in fear, 
and you've stocked up on your paper towels and your toilet paper and you're in isolation with your family, the greatest suggestion I can give you in this time is start learning. And what would I learn? The first and foremost thing I would learn is how to coordinate action with others. If everything goes to hell in a handbasket, now it's not going to with the current situation we have, right? If you look at the numbers, yes, it might be uncomfortable for a while. Some people are going to get sick. Some people may die. But ultimately, this is not going to lead to the collapse of our society. We know that. So in this time frame, being able to learn how to coordinate action with others is critical, even if it was to go to hell. One of the most important things that you can know is how to coordinate action with others, because if everything collapses around us, you aren't going to be able to survive on your own. You're only going to be able to survive if you're able to coordinate action with those around you. To be able to join your skills together, your capabilities together, and provide for each other in a small community. And so that skill set of being able to coordinate action with others is the thing that provides the opportunity for us to be safe. And that isn't something that is easy. And ultimately, that's what we spend all our time teaching, right? Leadership is the ability to influence the actions of others towards a desired future situation. That ability to produce that is all about coordination of action with others. So in this time frame, when you have some time, start learning. Learn how to coordinate action with others. Learn how to provide for your family. Learn how to defend yourself. In those situations, that's going to serve you if everything goes to hell in a handbasket, which it won't. And it's going to serve you even more in the inevitable opportunity that's going to be presented with all of the changes that are coming with this. Right? With every big change, with a any big change, there's going to be opportunity and there's going to be threat. And your knowledge is what determines if it's a threat to you or if it's an opportunity for you. Some people are going to come out of this well above where they started and others are going to suffer. And your knowledge is going to be the determiner of if you suffer or if you excel. And my suggestion is to learn how to coordinate action with others. As a SEAL, the most important thing to us was the team. We literally called it the teams because we knew as individual SEALs, we wouldn't survive a second on the battlefield. It's only through our ability to coordinate action with others that we're able to perform miracles in the world's worst environments under impossible risk and threat. And that skill set of being able to coordinate action in a high risk environment in a dynamic environment with other people is what enabled us to be so successful. And it's the same thing that's going to give you a sense of control, which is going to eliminate your fear. So this is Larry Yatch with SEAL Team Leaders. And if there's anything we can do to be able to help you learn how to coordinate action better with others, please contact us, especially in these times that you have time to study, you have time to learn. It would be our honor to add you to our team to make sure that you live in opportunity, not threat. Once again, uh, remember socks, the world's best napkins. You carry them with you all the time. With that, we'll be continuing to put out good lessons throughout these times. And since all our classes are live virtual, we'll continue to be teaching. Feel free to contact us. We look forward to getting through this trying time and coming out the other side, a tighter, stronger community. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification icon so you can make sure to get these messages. And if you want to connect with me directly, you can go to my 360 site at larry360.com and you can connect with me on all my social medias. You can send me direct messages. I'd love to hear from you.